and JiggyJagwire.com. Okay. <laughs> we have got some interesting uh, stuff happening here. We are going to go to our next guest who is going to join us here in just a few moments. Kevin Gulkson, I believe. He's got the band Radio Drive. And we are going to go to them here in just a few seconds here on our world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio broadcast. We are live, of course, coast to coast, border to border. Kevin is going to join us here in just a few moments. I believe he's going to join us. Kevin, can you hear us, my friend? I, I can. Let me let me um, hold on here. Oh. Got to set the speaker up. Can you hear me now? Hey, that's fine. That's fine. You're good. You're good. Are oh, you going to be uh, joining us on video as well? Or are we? I sure am. Let me just hit the button. There it is. Okay. Look at that. There it is. I, I would hate. Right I button. would hate to miss that background because you got a hell of a background there. Thank you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's my studio. Yeah. <laughs> we have got a great guest joining us today here on our big broadcast, coast to coast, border to border on iHeartRadio today, and also live on Twitch video tonight via our website at ShiggyCheckWire.com. Kevin Golkson is with us. He's got Radio Drive. Check out their website, RadioDrive.net. And uh, Kevin joins us. Here, via the magic of the old Skip Skype, the old Skype Rooney, and uh, so yeah. Kevin, <laughs> tell us a little bit about Radio Drive. How, how, how did Radio Drive come to exist? Yeah, well, it was about 10, 12 years ago. I started a band called Radio Drive, and we were doing quite well here in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. But the thing I find with bands is it's hard to keep uh, four or five guys together with the same focus and vision and commitment. Yes. So they all kind of left their ways. So I just kept the name Radio Drive. Since then, it's really been just me, but I hire musicians to play live gigs. I hire musicians to do studio work for recordings. Wow. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a unique thing. Um, I don't really know what to call it because it's not a band per se. It's not really a solo project. Maybe it is. It's just Radio Drive. It's who I am. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, where do you find some of these musicians that you're uh, that that you hire for some of these gigs? And how how, how do you put some of this together? Because uh, I I am very interested to hear how all this works. Yeah, of course, locally here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, I, I know several musicians, and it's so amazing. I can just ring them up and say, hey, I got a few gigs coming up. We uh, learn the songs and practice a couple of times, play the show. Um, as far as the recordings, though, I've tapped into some amazing talent through a community called Air Gigs. So uh, my latest album, there's a drummer from Italy, uh, violin player from Russia, cello player from Venezuela. Uh, the guy who did the mix and mastering is out in California. So it's just all over the world. That's fantastic. That is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. so wh when you go to look for these um, for these gigs and l look for these folks that uh, you know that that are that are out there. Um, what are you looking for exactly as far as what their what their musical background is? How, how, how are you doing this? Well, on air gigs, the nice thing, each person has their own profile. So you can listen to samples of their drumming or singing or violin playing, um, the general style and stuff. You know, there's, there's country folks and there's, you know, heavy metal. So I kind of look for my genre, you know, alternative pop rock. Um, and then, of course, locally here, the, the guys that I play with, um, they're so well-versed. These guys can adapt to any musical style. I've known them for years, so uh, that part's easy, just getting the guys locally. But uh, I've had great success with air gigs, though, connecting with these people. Uh, the drummer, for example, when you listen to the album, it sounds like we're an actual band that's been together for years. That's awesome. This guy is so That's tight. awesome. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So, how did you get into music? What was your, 
original, you know, thought process on, on getting into music? Well, that goes way back when I was like seven years old. I actually started writing songs when I was seven years old. I mean, granted, they're just like little kid songs. I had some bongos and an acoustic guitar. Um, I've always had music in me. Um, in my teens, I was putting together bands, always playing with older people, you know, because I was really advanced for my years um, musically. And... Uh, you know, then after high school, I started playing the clubs in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Um, actually had interest from Capitol Records. So, wow. Um, yeah, it just just full throttle. And then I moved to New York City. Uh, of course, met my, met my wife out there and started writing songs. She inspired me for quite a few songs and um, had interest from a label out there and a management company. And um, so, yeah, there, there's always been some wonderful things happening. That's pretty fr that was pretty freaking amazing that you've been able yeah. to uh to to make that work. It just kind of a kind of a, you know, <laughs> uh, you're in the right place at the right time kind of gimmick. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm here in Minnesota now, uh, kind of a long story how I came from New York to Minnesota, but I have my own home studio as you can see. So I have the luxury of just taking my time writing a song, crafting it, recording it. Um, I, I play piano, guitar, bass, guitar, sing, harmony. So I put all that together here and then just kind of hire out for all those other parts that I can't play or that somebody can actually do so much better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah, I got you got to know your strengths and weaknesses. You know, you can't do everything. So, <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, you you are. Uh... Pretty amazing, my friend. So we have well, got you. we have got some great music here from you. Uh, before we get into the music, how do we get in touch with you on the web? How 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 do we go about doing that? Yeah, of course, I'm on on most all of the social platforms. Uh, Instagram is radio underscore drive, Twitter at radio drive music, Facebook radio drive, and of course my website. Uh, radiodrive.net. Oh, and Spotify. Yeah, just search for Radio Drive. I got lots of albums out there and singles and EPs. Fantastic. So let's talk about the other side. That this this is quite the track. Tell me a little bit about this, then we'll play it for everybody here. Yeah. So I think the feature instrument is the violin. I I worked with a guy out of Jericho to get that authentic Middle Eastern Moroccan kind of sound. Uh, I love Led Zeppelin. The song Cashmere certainly has been a big influence, so you'll probably hear some of that kind of influence in the song. Okay. Uh, Matteo Andrigo is my Italian session drummer playing uh, the drums on that one. And I play all the other instruments uh, recorded here at my home studio. Fantastic. Well, we are going to do this. We're going to put you on hold here on skype and uh we are going to play this track and if you want to get more information check out radiodrive.net kevin is going to be back with us after this track here on our big program it's called the other side
That is Radio Drive, the other side, and it's here on your big broadcast, coast to coast and border to border on iHeartRadio today and also AMFM247.com. Kevin Golkson is with us. Radio Drive, and uh, that was a fantastic tune, my friend. Tell me a little bit well, about uh, the, the writing you. process, the production process, putting that whole thing together. Yeah, well, of course, this song, oddly enough, I, I wrote years ago when I lived out in New York City. It was one of the first that I wrote. Um, the funny thing, it's got a lot of layers to it. Uh, the top layer, just kind of face value, the solid door, or um, the other side, basically, was my wife's apartment, you know, when we were still dating. Out in New York, apartment doors are like, you know, these huge, big metal things with multiple locks, you know, so... Yeah. I was impressed with this huge door, but, you know, going through the layers, there's a lot of spiritual stuff in there too. So I don't want to get too deep, but, um, I'll let people interpret that one as it is, but the musical writing, um, started on acoustic guitar and put together some, um, um, some riffs. Uh, I had that, uh, string part that I had, um, uh, Muhammad from Jericho play. The final mix and mastering for this album, and as well as this song, certainly, was done by a fellow named Brendan Decora, who won a Grammy Award working with the Foo Fighters. So I was thrilled to have him work on my album. Really? So uh, yeah. how did you get linked up with this individual? Yeah, that, of course, through Air Cakes. Uh, wow. In this online community, you can find musicians. Uh, recording engineers. You, you need to be producers. an ambassador to those people. They 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 they, 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 they need to be giving you a sponsorship. <laughs> they should. I know. Maybe fund my next recording or something. <laughs> and one thing that's super cool: this song um, is nominated for best rock song by the Hollywood Music and Media Awards. Uh, so their ceremony is coming up. It, it was going to be in November, but because of the pandemic still raging. It's going to be virtual later in January, but uh, needless to say, I'm thrilled to be nominated, or at least this song to be nominated for Best Rock Song. Fantastic. Well, it is definitely yeah. a uh, a great little track. You have put together some, cool. some cool, cool stuff here. Thank so, you. Um, where do you see your career in, in, in like five, six years? Where, 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 where do you see this headed for you? You know, always onward and upward. Uh, the funny thing, there, there's sort of that, that tension of time where you are and where you want to be. Um, needing to be content with what you have, yet always wanting to grow and increase. Um, especially in the music industry, it, there's so much, so many variables that are outside our control. You know what I mean? Um, so you have to be realistic. You have to be optimistic. But, uh, yeah, I just see myself making more and more albums, um, just, you know, having a blast, talking to folks like you, getting, uh, you know, my, my songs played on radio. So uh, love to do a world tour and get that uh, going as well, make some more music videos. So I, I've got so many plans. There's too much to do and not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is. <laughs> yes, yes, that that seems to be the uh, seems to be the case anymore. Yeah, um, so. so, so this um, this musical journey that you're on, we've got Kevin Golkson with us today. Radio Drive, you can get more information online at radiodrive.net. So, what does social media and some of these folks say about some of your music? Yeah, I've had some great feedback. Uh, it's wonderful connecting with people around the world. I have a really big fan base uh, out of the UK, um, which is no surprise because my biggest influences are all from the UK, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, um, all the, the, the new wave stuff like The Cure coming out in the 80s, um, Coldplay. So I have a real connection with the UK and um, just love to see that exploding over there. And interestingly, over in France and Russia as well, getting a lot of feedback, some wonderful comments on some of the posts and uh people reaching out so it's awesome i love it that's awesome so uh tell me about your your writing style for for some of your music and, and how you put that together 
Yeah, so um, it's funny. There's a variety of ways that I write. Sometimes it's like a flash of inspiration. I could get a song in like 15 minutes. Lyrics, chords, you name it, the entire song. Sometimes it comes like that. Sometimes I just get a little snippet that I'll try to capture maybe with my iPhone. I'll just do a record a bit of that. And then I work on it later. Sometimes um, the lyrics come kind of as a placeholder. Kind of like you remember the story, Paul McCartney getting the song yesterday. He's got the lyrics, scrambled eggs, how I love to eat those scrambled eggs. Yes. Kind of as a placeholder. <laughs> so that, that, yes. Yeah, you know what I mean? So that happens to me quite a bit. Um, oddly enough, on this latest album, I left a lot of those placeholders in the songs because uh, it's like, well, it works, you know. <laughs> so, um, But there are the times where the work begins, where I have to sit down and craft the song, where I'm spending hours, you know, working on the chords, on the lyrics. I'll kind of brainstorm with the lyrics with a sheet of paper and just not even think of rhyming or stanzas or anything. I'll just brainstorm and write. And then start to piece it together. It's like, oh, this sounds good. Here's a couple words I like. Here's this. Kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. And then I start putting it together and crafting it from there. So some songs take working and reworking months and months and months. Uh, and then maybe I'll scrap it entirely or maybe it'll make the, the next record. Fantastic. Well, we've got another track uh, I want to get in here. It's Who I Am. Tell me a little bit about this, and then we'll uh, we'll play it here in a few moments. Yeah, this is the one that we're uh, promoting as a single. Uh, and I'm with 12 Story Records, which is really fabulous. So got some folks doing some promoting. And, um, yeah, this one here, just a straight-up rocker. It basically um, just about the commitment of love going beyond just feelings to a commitment where you can depend on me. I will be your castle on the rock. I'll be, I'll be with you always. Fantastic. Well, we are going to do this. We are going to go to this track. It is Kevin Gulkson. It is Radio Drive. You can get more information at radiodrive.net. And we're back after this here on our big, big program.
That is Radio Drive. It's who I am, and it's here on your big broadcast. We are coast to coast and border to border on iHeartRadio today, and we have got a great guest joining us. Kevin Golkson is with us from Radio Drive, and he joins us live here on our big program. So, Kevin, you, you, you've got a lot of great music here. You've put out a lot, of, a lot of great stuff. Um, do you do any touring? Have you thought about doing any touring? What, 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 what's all that going for? Yeah. Well, funny thing over the years, there have been some tours in the works. There was a big one over in Europe. We were supposed to do the festival circuit, uh, a little bit later over in, in Ireland and England. And of course I got the band back together to start playing some gigs, uh, in in 2020, January of 2020, but then, of course, the outbreak of the pandemic, social distancing, everything shut down. So they kind of put the, you know, the squash on that. Um, so even the album was all recorded during the pandemic, social distancing. I wanted uh, to have some of the guys come over and record, but everybody was, you know, on high alert, just kind of laying low. But, um, yeah, I don't know. At this point... Um, um, I have not got the guys back together. We've talked about it and, you know, things being what they are with the unsettled uh, uh, COVID uh, Delta variant still rearing its ugly head, especially in our area. So it's all on hold right now. I'm focusing on the album, I'm doing a lot of music videos. There's about five in the works right now. Actually, one being released tomorrow for a song off wow. this album, um, You Held Me. Fantastic, fantastic. So tell us about this music video. Yeah, um, it was, um, it's actually a unique one. I connected um, with this uh, multimedia outfit through uh, a web community called Fiverr, where they uh, do like a lyric video, but they draw animation. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like this black and white animation. They actually draw, hand draw, uh, based on the lyrics. And it's so cool because there's a few parts in there where I, I sent them a picture of me and they actually drew me playing guitar. So it's like, there I am, wow. my first debut as an animated cartoon character. <laughs> so, yeah, That's it's awesome. Fun. That's awesome. Well, uh, as we wrap up here with you, my friend, we've got one more tune here, No Time to Stay. Tell me a little <laughs> bit about this track and then we'll play it here on the program. Yeah, this was just a straight-up rocker. Again, influences from Led Zeppelin. Um, the lyrics, there's some placeholders in the song that I left in there. I'm not going to tell you which ones they are. Um, I think the, the key lyric in this one is just um, to, to open up your heart and let a little love come shining in. Uh, again, this, this album written last year during the pandemic. A lot of um, unrest socially in Minneapolis last year. Um, you know, that was just my bit of saying, Hey everybody, let's just cool down, let a little love come shining in and let's just kind of take a step back and work this out together. So it's, it's a simple message. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on and chatting with us. We're going to play this track and, uh, I'll let you get on with the rest of your evening. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for doing this, brother. Awesome. Hey, thank you. It's my pleasure. This has been a blast. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. I, I keep me updated. I'd love to do this again at some point. Absolutely. I'd love it too. All right, brother. There he goes. That is Kevin Gulkson. And right now it's no time to stay, and it's here on Yo Big Broadcast. Coming up. We've got an interesting guest coming up here in a few moments.
mental You may be wrong about the way you feel inside You may belong right in the middle Come on and let a little love come in and shine I got no time to stay Now I'm gonna go out on my way I got no time to stay Okay, we are back live here on our big broadcast. We are coast to coast. We are border to border on iHeartRadio 